to debate or not to debate round two all that and more now on graphs grievances Despite running scared during the Republican presidential primary and refusing to debate his opponents for the GOP nomination, Donald Trump has relentlessly goaded President Joe Biden into debating him before November's election. I'm calling on crooked Joe Biden to debate anytime, anywhere, any place. Right there. And we have to debate because our country is going in the wrong direction so badly. And while it's a little bit typically early, we have to debate. We have to explain to the American people what the hell is going on. Trump sounding particularly desperate to face off against President Biden as swing state polling indicates the two elderly men appear to be in a very tight race for a second term. And likely adding to Trump's desperation to debate is the inescapable fact that four days a week, Trump is held up in a New York City courthouse during his first of likely four criminal trials. Meanwhile, President Biden has had the campaign trail to himself, making key stops in North Carolina, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Florida, where he has become increasingly aggressive in denouncing Trump. Donald Trump still thinks windmills cause cancer. <laughs> That's what he said. By the way, remember when he was trying to deal with COVID, he said, just inject a little bleach in your veins. <laughs> he missed it, all went to his hair. <laughs> I had a great stretch since the State of the Union. Well, Donald has had a few tough days lately. You might call it Stormy weather. What the hell? Trump's so desperate, he started reading those Bibles he's selling. Then he got to the first commandment. You shall have no other gods before me. That's when he put it down and said, this book's not for me. Those last remarks coming this past weekend at the White House Correspondents' Dinner, just a day after President Biden told the radio host, Howard Stern, he would participate in a debate with Trump. I don't know if you're going to debate your, uh, your opponent. I am somewhere. I don't know when. I, I'm happy to debate him. Biden's surprise announcement immediately inducing agita in some elite Democratic circles over fears that Trump will bury Biden in a torrent of lies and idiotic arguments that prevent Biden from ever getting a word in, not to mention correcting the record. And while such concern is more than warranted, President Biden is absolutely correct in offering to debate Trump. One of the central tenets of the Biden presidency has been his commitment to restoring and strengthening American democracy. After Trump corruptly influenced the Justice Department and literally fomented a mob of his supporters to attack the U.S. Capitol after he lost re-election. Central to any strong democracy is transparency, open dialogue, and accurate information. Fair debates provide a unique opportunity for voters to hear directly from all the major candidates simultaneously, while allowing the candidates to directly fact-check their opponents. There is simply nothing else like it, especially in our current media environment that is more fragmented than ever, with Americans overwhelmingly choosing their news and never hearing from voices they may disagree with. Four years ago, nearly 75 million people watched the first presidential debate between Trump and Biden. That is more viewers than virtually anything else besides the Super Bowl. And such a platform giving candidates the opportunity to reach voters who may never hear from them directly. However, in order for debates to be fair and informative, all participants must obey the rules. And that has proven to be challenging for Donald Trump, 
back in 2020, Trump harangued Biden for most of their first debate, effectively obstructing any policy discussions and refusing to abide by time limits. And when it came time for their second debate, Trump refused to participate virtually after he tested positive for COVID-19 and likely exposed Biden to the virus. The two finally debating for a second time after Trump supposedly tested negative for COVID in a forum in which Trump incessantly lied about his own record as president and lodged baseless allegations against Biden over his family's finances. Nevertheless, Biden, of course, went on to defeat Trump and make Trump just the 11th president in U.S. history to lose re-election. But that result doesn't mean that Trump should be allowed to just ignore the debate rules and, quote, flood the zone with shit, as Trump's chief strategist, Steve Bannon, commended Trump for doing four years ago. Americans deserve a fair debate between President Biden and former President Donald Trump. And that means the rules of any debate they participate in must be enforced. Mics of both candidates must be cut off immediately after they have hit their allotted speaking time. In addition, for every allegation Trump lobs against President Biden, Biden must be given additional time to respond, and vice versa. In addition, when Biden is speaking, Trump's mic must be muted. And when Trump is speaking during his designated time, Biden's mic should also be muted. Biden and Trump absolutely should debate, but only if Trump can agree to these very simple rules and the debate commission can effect effectively enforce them. Thank you for watching Graphs Grievances. Let me know what you think. Please like, subscribe, share, and join me in the next one.